Hey y'all, it's D here. I come here today to share some updates on my investing journey for two of my investing accounts that I have with Stash and with Fidelity. Within those, they have a couple of different portfolios. So we will be going over that today. If you are interested in seeing what I was able to do and what I'm going to do, please stay tuned. Okay, let's get into this video. So, before I get started, wanted to let you know I am not a financial advisor. I am just coming on here and sharing my journey to financial independence and investing in the stock market. So, I'm not telling you to go out here to buy any of these stocks. I am just showing you showing you what I am doing to advance my portfolios so I can retire early or do whatever. Um, before I actually get into the video, I did want to go over the ladies of the hashtag BCL started by budgeting April. So for this week starting today, this is actually very early Sunday morning through Saturday, we will be supporting Black and Blue, Wanda Budgets and Cash Stuffing, Kathy's Cash and Coin, and Just Roll It in Glitter. I am familiar with most of these ladies, so please make sure you go like, comment, and view their videos and if you like what you see subscribe okay now let's get into the video so this so this is my happy planner that i use to keep up with all of my investing and i currently invest with a local brokerage at my financial institution and i have two other brokerage that I use. One is Stash and one is Fidelity. I will link up above the playlist for my investing journey if you are interested. But yeah, let's just get into it. So first of all, we will be going over my stash account and within this account i have a personal account personal portfolio and a retirement portfolio last quarter or well, the last two quarters i was focusing on getting full shares within all of my positions, eight positions. I think it's 48 positions. I have 38 in my personal and then 10 in my retirement. So I now currently have at least one full share for each of those positions within my stash portfolios. So now I will be working on building up those shares. I currently do not have any plans to add any more positions within my portfolios so i'm just going to be working on building up what i currently have so this last quarter i have been really paying attention to how my dividends are being paid out and when the actual positions pay them out i I have several that pay out monthly and the other ones pay out quarterly. So I've been paying 
very close attention to how each position and when each position is paid because I do want to eventually be able to live off of the dividends that I make, you know, on down the future as I get older. So I will be going over right now the analysis that I made for my IRA dividends within my stash portfolio. There are 10 positions and they are all ETFs. And that's the way that I wanted to do for that particular portfolio. So I have one monthly paying dividend ETF within that portfolio, and it is VGIT. So I get paid roughly about eight cents per month, and I hold, I think, share. Yeah, I have one share of this, so I get eight cents per month on this dividend. I mean, sorry, on this position. Then I have this list that pays out quarterly and their quarterly payout is the regular yearly quarterly payout march june september and december so in these months i have a increased amount of dividends coming in because a lot of them are paying within these particular months so it is one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of those positions pay dividends in one particular month. So that means on March, June, September, December, I should have pretty amount, pretty good amount of dividends coming in because I have so many positions that are paying out. So currently, SCHD. VNQ, XLE, MJ, VYM, VXUS, and VPL. I will probably insert the text here so you could actually see the ticker symbols. But all of these pay out, you know, quarterly, like I said. And I got a pretty good amount for this quarter which we'll be going over in just a second and the last two within my portfolio which will be a total of 10 as i stated before these pay out the quarter started in april july october and december now for december i see both of these are december but i think and i'm still trying to analyze this i think at the end of the year most companies go out and pay the remainder of the dividends for that year and then i think that they may some of them may come back in january and you know pay out some additional ones but i i'm not 100 percent sure about that i'm still analyzing it and trying to figure out you know how that's all done i am a semi beginner investor i have been investing for a while um, I can't remember on top of my head, so I will insert that here, how long I have been investing. But, yeah, I got really serious about investing in 2021. So, AOA, <clears throat> excuse me, and VOO, they pay out in this quarter um, in April, July, October, and December. So, yeah, I am excited about that, that I know roughly when these positions pay out. Because this, as this is a retirement account, I will be using that in the future, you know, possibly live off of, for, you know, whatever I choose to do. Next, I would like to go over my goals for quarter three within my stash account. Make sure you can still see this. Yeah, let me scoot it up just a little. And zoom in just a tad. 
Okay, so for quarter three, I want to invest a total of $240. And this $240 will mainly be going into my personal portfolio. And it will come from my side income that I do make. Now, this is the bare minimum that I want to invest because I usually invest around $20 every week that comes from my side income and it goes towards my personal portfolio. The way I will build up my IRA portfolio is usually with my two businesses that I have, which is D's Digital World and Premier Naturals by K2. So I take a portion of the revenue from those two sources of income and I use that to build my IRA within my stash portfolio. Because in stash, you can invest as little as a dollar or less whenever you want to. So, yeah. I also want the value of my two portfolios to be at, at least 6k i will insert a video here showing what it was at at the end of june on june 30th at about 6 30 p.m Okay, so yeah, those are my two goals, main goals. And next, I will be getting into the actual positions that I will be focusing on increasing for this quarter. I am switching this up a little bit. I have decreased the amount of positions that I am focusing on at one time because I was getting overwhelmed and I do not want to overwhelm myself. So I am, you know, just keeping it simple. If a particular stock drops down very low or is in the dip, I will go out there possibly and add some more money to it even if it's not on this list, but my main focus will be these four that I'm about to go over. So I want to get up to 10 shares in my position in DX. I am currently at 8.19 shares in DX. So I'm not too far away. In TU, I want to get up to two shares and I am currently at 1.35 shares. In O, which is one of my favorite monthly paying positions, which is a REIT, I want to get up to three shares and I'm currently at 2.41 shares. And lastly, in Apple, I want to get up to 1.5 shares. Now, Apple is on the lower end right now, but it is a fairly expensive stock to hold. Um, I think it's around 100, but yeah, I am hoping to get up to 1.5 shares. And I currently hold 1.01 shares. So for this whole quarter, the majority of my investments in stash will be of these four positions. I will also continue investing in Walmart every week for the amount of purchases that I make at Walmart and Sam's. But these are just my main focus. And if I happen to reach any of these goals, which I know I will fairly soon, 
I will roll over that money into one of the other positions and just continue to build upon it until I reach all of my goals that I'm trying to get to. And if I reach all these before the end of the quarter, I would just reanalyze it and just, you know, figure out what next position I want to focus on. So this is the tracker from Mommy Trader or Shalice here on YouTube that I am using to track the shares I have within my stash portfolio. So moving forward, I will be working on getting two shares for the positions that I do not have two shares in. So Apple is at the top. So that's one of them. I'm trying to get to two shares. Eventually I'm going to start off with 1.5. So I have three pages of this and these are all my positions within my personal and my retirement accounts. So I have quite a few on this page that I want to get to two shares. And this last page is all of these. I need to get to two shares. I do not have anywhere near, I think two shares in these because these are the higher, um, value stocks which most of these are close to a hundred or over a hundred dollars per share so this is going to be an ongoing process but i will start on these first two pages first and i will just keep adding and getting you know my shares that i want to get next i will be going over my fidelity accounts And go over what I was, well, what I did in the month of June. So with Infidelity, I have several accounts and I just opened up one more. So before June, I had a HSA account, a IRA account, rollover inherited IRA which I inherited from my mom she did pass in March of this year and I recently added one more so let's get into this hey hey y'all so this is editing D I did want to insert this clip because I forgot to show y'all when I was going over my fidelity accounts what the value was within my portfolios on July 1st because I forgot to record it on June 30th. So I will insert a picture here of what my value was. And yeah, thank y'all. So Infidelity, in the month of June, I did open up a new brokerage account. And this account will be focusing on building up my dividend passive income. I have not I have not started investing in this account, but I will hopefully sometime in the mm, within this quarter, hopefully I will. But I just wanted to get it set up so when I do have extra funds, I will start investing in positions that I have already researched and want to add to this new brokerage account. And as I stated, my goal for this new account is to invest only in dividend paying positions. So I actually named this account, I Love Dividends. So if it's not a dividend paying position, I will not be investing in it within this new brokerage account. In my IRA infidelity, I did add some new positions within May and June, if I am not mistaken. So I originally had six positions within this IRA. 
If you want to know more details about that, I will insert a video of my Fidelity account so you can see a little bit more. But currently right now, after adding the additional positions, I have a total of 11 positions. And the positions that I added within this portfolio recently, as I just stated, was NVDA, you know, and expand my portfolio to more of a tech stock because I don't think I have that many. So that's why I added this. This is a high dollar stock, but it has been in the dip. And it has dipped quite a bit. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and try to get this full share. And we will go from there. So this is a new stock that I am quote unquote testing out. And as I stated, I, this is not financial advice. This is what I do. If I see a stock out there that I might be interested in, I research it. Next is amzn which is amazon i bought this because this was one of the stock splits that went on in the month of june and i wanted to get in the ground level of amazon because everybody know amazon is not going anywhere and this is will be my growth stock and i am excited to see where this goes um uh, in the future also, SHOP. This is Shopify. This is another this is another stock split that just happened um in June. And I wanted to get this Shopify because my website for Premier Natural by K2 is Shopify. It's currently on pause and I've taken a break to help me get um things together after my mom passed, but I am hoping to open up my main website for my Premier Naturals by K2 fairly soon. I do have my Etsy shop opened up for Premier Naturals by K2. Um, so I won't leave my customers totally abandoned. So yeah, this is another stock split and I'm excited to see where this goes. And I also added M.O. Now, M.O. is one of my favorite stocks right now. Uh, it is a dividend-paying stocks, and I do have this in within, I think, like two of my portfolios. So, it's in several portfolios. And lastly, I added DX. This is another one of my favorite dividend paying stocks i have this also within my stash portfolio and i've been loving the outcome of it so i added it to my fidelity ira and next i will be going over my goals for quarter three for my fidelity accounts so for quarter three, I want to invest a total of $120 from my side income. Now this $120, so I usually invest about $10 a week from my side income. And this $120 will be allocated to my IRA account. And this is because my HSA is maxed out, so I can't invest any more in that this year. I can't invest any money into my mom's inherited IRA, so I'm focusing on maxing out my IRA. So that is why all of this $120 bare minimum that I want to invest will be going strictly into my IRA account and hopefully eventually I'll be able to invest into my brokerage account. Also, I want to get DIV at 10 shares. It is currently at 7.24 shares. 
I also want to get DGRO. I want to get that to seven shares and it is currently at six shares. And that is it. I really do not want to stress myself out over this third quarter, but I probably will most likely exceed all of these goals. But I made these goals like I did because I did not want to put any extra pressure on myself because I know I have quite a bit going on in this third quarter coming up including my birthday but anyway that's on down the line sorry y'all this video is gonna be kind of long i'm already at 28 minutes and i wanted to go over the dividends i was able to acquire in the month of june this tracker is available on these digital world it is linked down below and I also have a coupon code if you are interested in anything on my Etsy shop. Uh, I did have several people who have purchased this particular tracker and thank you so much. And thank you so much to all the others who have been purchasing my saving track, saving challenges and other trackers that I have available on my Etsy shop. So I receive quite a bit of dividends in the month of june because it is a quarter end of the quarter so yeah the largest dividend that i received was this oh so the largest dividend that i received for june was ten dollars and 75 cents within my hsa from so this is a utility position the smallest dividend that i received was from which was eight cents from my stash retirement account for vgit and i did go over that one this is one of the monthly paying ones Okay, so I got this full page of dividends. <laughs> then I have this full page of dividends. So as you see, I did pretty good. And it's not even it, y'all. I have a couple more. <laughs> so I had two full pages and rolled over into the third page worth of dividends for the month of June. And this is so exciting. So now let's go over the individual totals and and then it will be close to wrapping up this video. Thank y'all for staying this long. If you are still here, thank you for commenting, subscribing, liking, and engaging with me on my channel. So within my stash portfolio for my personal account, I was able to make or bring in A total of $17.53. And that is exciting. And for my retirement, it was $4.68. And if you add up these two, that is a total of $22.21. And actually, this right, this right here, this $22.21, this is enough to pay for my dental insurance for the month and have some left over. So, yeah, I'm excited to see as I continue to add these and build my positions how my dividend income, which I'm not doing anything but investing, will grow in the future let's go over what i was able to make in my fidelity positions in my ira i was able to make one dollar and 99 cents 
in my mom's IRA, which is inherited, I was able to make seven dollars and well five dollars and seventy three cents within my HSA. I was able to make seventeen dollars and eleven cents. So that is a total of $24.83. And this $24.83 is more than enough to pay my life insurance for the month. So that's two bills right there I could have paid if I cashed in these dividends but i don't do that i have them automatically invested and i could pay partial of my vision insurance also um with all of the dividends that i receive for the month of june and if you add up all of these dividends for these two accounts That's a total of $47.04. So this is the grand total. So almost $50 this month in dividends. I would definitely take that all day, every day. And lastly, y'all, I am so sorry. It is currently at almost 40 minutes, but I do have some stuff I need to edit out because it is early in the morning and I am half sleep still. But thank y'all so much again. I really appreciate y'all helping me on my journey. Your comments help motivate me and keep me um, going. And that is it. I wanted to remind you to make the money, but don't let the money make you. If you made it to the end of this long video, <laughs> thank you so much. And let me know you made it to the end and leave me a hashtag investing. Bye. Have a nice day.